Hello, welcome back to NX Tutorial. So in this video tutorial, I will explain about how to start design sheet metal in NX by using Contour Flange Future. For example, in here, I already capture what is the Contour Flange and how the result that I will explain in this tutorial video. For the tutorial goal, in this example, we will learn how to use contour flank feature for example in here I already capture the window contour flank and the second how to create sketch profile with rapid dimension to start sheet metal modeling go to application activate sheet metal now we're gonna create a contour flank And then click the sketch section. We're gonna use this one. Now we're gonna create a profile using line command. For example, I begin from the origin. Finish the sketch. Now it's time to make sure we have a correct length. We can use rapid dimension. We can select, for example, here using invert. Just click this one. In here, we're going to change the length, become 12.5. Next, also in here, change the length, become 16, for example. And then in here, we also, we're going to have length in here is about, uh, for example, about 55. Okay. You also can use a geometric constraint. For example, in here we can use equal length, so it means this length will be equal with this length. Click this one, and then click the other one. So it have equal length 12.5. Use also the same option like this one. We into this one. It have equal length uh, 16. Once the sketch is done, you can click finish. Okay. You can see we have a thickness, it's a default thickness or a global value thickness is 3 millimeters. Now let's observe in here. Okay, we can, we can see in here we have a band parameters, we have a re relief, we have a mica. Let's focus to band parameters. In here we also have a global value about band radius. I will override, use local value. For example, I change become 2 millimeters. See the changes in here? Change to 1 millimeters. And also, I can change to 0 millimeters. And notice now we have a sharp edges in here because the band reduce is 0. Also, in here, we have a sharp edges in here. Now, for the width itself, I can change the width in here. I can reverse the direction. I also can change the length here. You can see in here. Let's click OK. This one. Notice now we have a base contour flame. If you want to change it, just double click. Now in here we have a, a miter start end and the finish end for example use a micro a corner you can see it changes like this now the angle is minus 45 degrees if i change become plus 45 degrees 
it also will change a direction same as at the finish end if I apply the tomato and then I, I change become a plus degrees 55 degrees it become like this okay and then I can click OK so that's it how to create the contour flank for jet metal design